Oh, there we go, guys. Another one. Literally a second cast. What's up, guys? Welcome back to our video. So today is August 24th, I think, 2020. You guys will see you in the car. Um, driving to the beach, not going too far today. Um, Cause we have to work at nine, it's around 7.45 now. So I'm gonna do a quick little fishing session, headed to the beach. My buddy was out yesterday, said he saw a lot of little um, small bluefish, but they were actually eating sand eels, which I think is pretty cool for South Jersey. We don't really get a lot of those here. So I'm just gonna probably catch some bluefish today, maybe something else, I don't know. But if there's sand eels around, there's a good chance other things are following them. So I'm gonna fish for about an hour or so, see what I can catch. Probably just gonna be some small micro, micro bluefish. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna get out there and fish. Probably gonna fish around eight o'clock and we'll fish till, I don't know, 9.45. So I'll see you guys out there. Should be a good fishing session. Hopefully catch some fish, make a good video, and get on to work. So toss on the GoPro when I get to the beach, guys. See you there. Something a lot smaller, but this is good. It mimics the sand eels pretty nicely. And we'll see what we can do. Oh, we got one. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> First fish of the day. Look at the size of that blue fish. My God, that thing was so small. <laughs> All right, got another here though. That was, I think, third cast. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna keep casting this and then I might switch it up. Um, that guy was well, well undersized. So if that's all we're catching out here, I'm gonna put on a much smaller, much, much smaller jig. I literally didn't even know he was on there. Anyone, but it's gotta be a fish right there. Can't even tell he's on. I can feel a small head stick. That's about it. Look at that, guys. Oh my god. Another super tiny bluefish. I mean, it's so small that can barely hit the hook. So I'm actually just gonna switch this lure up right now. This guy's probably way too big for the size of these blues. And because of how ag aggressive they are, I mean, they're hitting this big old thing. Madman of Sandy will dig, which is literally bigger than them themselves. So I'm gonna switch this guy up, see what else we got in the bag. That's so funny though, how they're just nailing this thing. All right, so switching up guys, we're gonna be using this half ounce, going from one and a quarter to a half an ounce Madman of Jig right here. Much smaller, we'll see how this works, but hopefully it allows me to enjoy the fight a little bit more. Maybe catch some more fish, so. See what we can do with this. Um, this is too small, we'll upsize a little bit. Got some three quarters, got some one ounces. Just gonna try to find what the perfect bait is today. Trying to match the sand eels and some uh, small Atlantic silver sides out there. That's the hatch we're trying to match. All right, all set. Start making some more cash. There we are, fish on. Oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> Just saw him in the wave. I think he's still on there. Yeah, he's on. Baby bluefish, dude. Baby, baby bluefish. There we go. Third one right there. Look at these guys. I mean, these are. 
the smallest bluefish I think I've ever caught, especially on a lure this big. There we go, guys. Probably the smallest bluefish I've ever caught. Definitely the smallest off the beach. I mean, that guy is an absolute micro bluefish. Literally probably four inches long. So we're gonna send it back. That's awesome. Super small. Look at that, guys. I mean, literally probably four inches long. See ya, dude. All right, there he goes. On a half ounce, Mad Man is jig. Sweet. Oh, there we go, guys. Another one. Literally second cast. The guy feels a little bit bigger. Not a monster, but a little bit bigger. Hey! Brought a little seaweed with him. Another micro, micro, man. Look at these guys. So small. Oh my god. I'm not ever supposed to lip a bluefish, but when they're that small, you can easily do it. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, they just must be everywhere out here. A lot of fun. See if we can get another one. That was literally back-to-back -back cat. There he is. Yep, he's on. It's on. <laughs> Look, he's all the way behind me. Look at that guy. Another micro, man. That's so funny. Pretty impressive. That's a little baby one, but he wrecked that thing. And a nice little salad of weeds, too. <laughs> there he is, guys. Little bluefish playing a little camouflage. Look at that little guy. See ya. Looks like the most productive way of fishing. Just casting almost at like a 15 degree angle to me. I'm reeling it in water just beyond the breakers, kind of in the breakers. And as I've got most of my bites, cast it straight out. Yeah, I get some. But think about all the baits getting washed around right here in this little wash zone. So the bluefish are gonna be in close chasing that all around, just pinning the bait up against the waves and the, uh, the sand. I don't wanna fish too shallow, like ankle deep, but knee depth is all you need really. Just kind of fan casting this little jig, working great. Looks just like a little shiner or sand deal or any, any small rain bait, pretty much. And yeah, this is the ticket so far today. So we've got about an hour left to fish. Um, I think I lost count already. Probably have around half dozen or so. So not gonna complain at all. A ton of fun catching these little guys. Can't really eat them, you can't use them for bait, but why kill them? Just a little catch and release. Oh my God. This guy absolutely destroyed that. Just gonna keep on casting. Hopefully keep on catching. There we are. Lift the rod out of my hands. <laughs> Nothing new. Just another little micro glue. See you, bub. There we are. Thought I had some grass. Looks like we got fish. Another absolutely micro, micro bluefish right there. So we're gonna toss this guy back. He's 
way too small, obviously. And uh, yeah, I think it's like the 10th one of the day. So I'm gonna keep on fishing, send these guys back. Kept a few more, got like 15 minutes left. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. feel too bad either. Feels a little bigger than the other ones up again. Not fighting too hard though. Actually that's the biggest one of the day. That's more like a uh, five and a half inch compared to a four. For their size that guy hit like an absolute tank. Alright guys here we go. Another little blue fish. Probably another five inch right there. We'll send him back. Well guys, with that right there, it's going to mark the end of this video. Um, that's going to be a wrap. This jig right here really did great today. Well, plenty of little bluefish, no Spanish, no Albies. Wasn't really expecting them. Just that they could have been a possibility, but not today. So we caught a bunch of small bluefish. Yeah, we caught a bunch of small bluefish um, all on that jig. I think we got around a dozen or so. Yeah, man, I can't complain. Came out here looking for whatever I could get. Didn't even know if I was going to be able to make a video. Got, uh... I think, yeah, a dozen bluefish had an hour, hour and a half to fish. Um, and I kind of caught all the fish I wanted, so I could have stayed. I probably could have cranked another couple dozen, but plenty of fish to catch. Didn't keep any, way too small to keep. Um, and there's just really no point in keeping them at that, at that size. So you don't get a lot of meat. Whatever, catch and release is always fun. So on my way to work right now, leaving the beach, just Let's get out there, fish. Even if you don't have a whole day to fish, get out there, fish for work, fish for school, whatever you got to do. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a wrap, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.